Hi, hello, good morning. Um, today I wanted to talk about the uh, Sericata uh, project. Uh, and uh, so Sericata is a high performance open source uh, network analysis tool. And uh, so it is known for uh, intrusion uh, detection system or in intrusion uh, prevention system i.e. IDS or IPS. So since my main interest is, since I'm interested in the eBPF and the XDP, and the uh, Sericata project also support uh, eBPF and the XDP uh, for uh, a packet bypass uh, feature. And uh, so here is the YouTube uh, uh, that the author talk about the Sericata and the XDP uh, implementation. Okay, so it is the so Sericata is a is a, a great project to implement the XDP uh, bypass feature. But today, my, my talk is uh, about um, my addition to the Sericata uh, project. So what is my, my uh, contribution about? So let's talk about uh, another project, XDP uh, uh, project. XDP project GitHub. Okay, so, and then under this XDP, I already talk, talked about this project before, so, and uh, which is related to the work uh, that I did. So in, under this XDP project, there is the XDP tools. Under XDP tools, there is the XDP loader. So what this XDP loader does is uh, it can attach multiple XDP program uh, to the same uh, network network interface. And in my uh, previous uh, talk, I used the uh, eBPF tail call to implement the feature of uh, attaching multiple XDP program uh, to the same network interface. So in that case, uh, you need to uh, uh, rewrite your XDP program and each XDP program and logic has to, uh, you, have, you, have, you have to know uh, each XDP uh, program logic and then write the uh, tail call uh, to call each other. So that's uh, one way of attaching multiple XDP program to the same network interface. And, but this XDP loader uh, program is to, uh, you don't have to, you don't know, need to know anything about the XDP program. Uh, if you have the XDP program object file, and uh, you can use XDP loader utility command to, to load multiple XDP program uh, and attach it to the same network interface. So what XDP dot what XDP loader does is it use it calls the uh, lib XDP library, and uh, so the lib XDP library has the capacity to uh, node multiple XDP program on the same uh, interface. So then, what about the Sericata? Right. So Sericata currently does not support. Uh, loading multiple XDP program on the same network interface because it uh, uses a uh, lib uh, BPF instead of a lib uh, XDP library. So what my contribution is to add a, a, to allow a Sericata uh, project to uh, use a lib XDP library to load multiple XDP program on the same network interface. 
So why, why we wanted to do that, you would ask. Uh, because uh, the, uh, the reason we want to load multiple XTP program uh, on the same network interface, same network interface is because uh, say uh, you want to first run a, a DDoS XTP program to filter out the, the DDoS packet before it get, before the DDoS packet get into the uh, Sericata, the intrusion detection system. Because uh, uh, in, in a scenario like if you if attacker is running a sim flood attack, and then uh, without the DDoS XTP program, uh, the the intrusion detection system like Sericata would uh, would uh, do a packet analysis on on this same flooding attack and uh, it used a lot of resources. And I, I will do demonstrate later to show how, how, how bad, uh, how serious the, the CPU usage is uh, by the uh, intrusion detection system if without uh, uh, XTP DDoS program. So that's, that's one good reason. Uh, we want to attach multiple XTP program to the same network interface uh, so we can uh, have a DDoS protection for our intrusion detection system. Okay, you love talk, so let's uh, get a, a, a demo so we have a first-hand experience. So here is my, here is I'm running, I'm going to start a, a I'm going to start a, a, a SIM flood attack with uh, HP3. Uh, okay, so I started the XTP program, uh, started the uh, SIM flood uh, attack program. And uh, here is my, tar this is my target IP address. And uh, so this is my, so this is my, uh, just the normal NGX uh, web server. That's the target uh, web server I'm using sim flood attack. So we can run a TCP down to see there are a lot of a sim packet coming in. To port 80. Uh, Did I, oh, I, I, wait. Oh yeah. So, cause I, I, I already loaded the, I already loaded the XTP uh, DDoS uh, program. So I could not see the packet, no. Uh, okay, yeah, sorry about the interruption. Let's continue our uh, demonstration. So here I started the uh, uh, SIM flood attack to the target IP, uh, this address. So we can run a TCP down on this target uh, web server and we see a lot of a SIM packet come in, right? And uh, we can look at a uh, uh, CPU usage and uh, uh, you notice here, uh, there is a K-soft uh, interrupt uh, daemon, that's a kernel uh, thread to handle a packet uh, for a software interrupt. And uh, that's like a, a 7.9 CPU usage and a 2.0. So it's about uh, like 10% uh, or, or more than 10% uh, CPU usage for the uh, kernel uh, uh, software interrupt uh, thread. Okay, so that's a uh, CPU usage. Uh, 
uh, yeah. So now I'm going to start a, uh, start up the Seracata project. And uh, so for that project, I added the uh, XDP uh, 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 sim, uh, DDoS protection for sim flood attack. So we can look at the Seracata configuration file here. So I run the Seracata as a intrusion detection system and uh, on the on the network interface uh, with the web server listening on and uh, so this is um, uh, xdp mode because my network card does not support the native xdp driver so i use the skp mode uh, in Seracata, uh, we configure it as a soft mode which is skp mode so here is the um, uh, Sericata's XDP filter uh, program uh, that is for packet bypass feature the original uh, Sericata author uh, developed for so uh, without an, without my addition without my libxdp uh, contribution the Sericata can only attach one XDP program on this uh, network network interface uh, after my uh, addition, uh, I added this uh, XDP sync cookie uh, program, and also, like for each XDP program, we also have a, a round priority. So, like you can, uh, after you attach these two XDP program to this network interface, then we have a priority to run uh, which one first. So. Uh, and this is the sync cookie XDP program to pr for DDoS protection to uh, sync flood attack. Let's uh, let's start up the, this uh, uh, Seracata. Seracata dash C. So I'm going to start up this uh, Sericata. Okay. And it started okay. And it shows uh, at, we attached the, the XDP filter program on the network interface ENO2. Uh, also, we attached the XDP sync proxy sync cookie program on the and network interface so so there should be two xdp program on the same network interface and we can run a xdp loader to uh, verify the verify the the xdp program so here uh, on this uh, network interface we have a xdp dispatcher program so under this xdp Dispatcher program, uh, we have the XDP sync uh, cookie XDP program and the XDP hash filter a bypass feature for Sericata. So two XDP program attached. And now, so this should start a work to block the sim flooding attack. And the first, first thing we can check if there is a CPU um, CPU usage reduction. So previously we, we see a, a kernel software soft interrupt thread with uh, like more than 10% CPU usage. So right now we, we, we don't see it. We barely see the, the kernel software interrupt thread, not here on the top list. It, oh, here it is like, a, oh, uh, yeah, we, we barely see it. Of course, we, we started our pay attention to this uh, uh, Seracata uh, program. Uh, we, we started the intrusion detection system. So notice here, there, there is a, a, a very small CPU usage, like 1%, let's say, yeah. 1%, 0.7%, right? So. Okay, so that looks good. Now, 
uh, if I, I if I uh, stop my XTP uh, sync cookie program, okay, let's just uh, run a TCP down to make sure our XTP program, uh, uh, sync flood XTP program is working properly. Uh, the way to uh, to verify is uh, um, in this TCP down from the uh, from the tacking tacking machine. Uh, we see same same packet sent. Uh, we received the same act, uh, which is from the XTP DDoS program. To to ask the client to verify the the same packet. So this is from the this s dot is the same act packet from the XTP program. So now uh, let's. Let's unload the XTP uh, sim cookie sim protection XTP program. Uh, okay, so we can unload it use XTP loader since both then uh, loaded by the since both of them use a lib XTP program. So let's unload the XTP program. Eno two. So we can give a. Uh, XTP program ID number. So this is the ID number one seven zero. And uh, to unload the XTP program. Okay. So let's check if it is unloaded. Yes. So it it is unloaded. The X sync cookie XTP program is gone. So now let's look at it, what happened to Seracata. And uh, you notice here, uh, our Seracata running into a, a flow emergency mode. Uh, it, it probably means there are just too many uh, TCP collection flow enter into the intrusion detection system. And uh, see, now let's see the CPU usage. And uh, did you notice the Originally, we have Seracata with like 1% CPU usage. And then now it's jumped to uh, like over 100% CPU usage. That's a lot of CPU usage. If you run a, a Seracata intrusion detection system uh, when, when it is under a same flood DDoS attack, uh, Seracata barely can handle it. And we also, yeah, right? So that's, that, see, you see, you see the benefit of running multiple XTP program on same network interface, uh, especially for DDoS uh, attacking scenario. You can, you can attach XTP sync cookie protection program on the same network interface to filter out the the, uh, the DDoS packet, and to re reduce the the intrusion detection detection system CPU usage, and uh, again here the Seracata with the uh, uh, running into emergency mode, and then we can also verify again uh, there is no. Uh, uh, so the the we the attacking machine continues in the same flooding attack, but there is no same act uh, uh, back uh, from the XTP program because it's already unloaded, right? So yeah, and uh, this is my talk today, and uh, so we see the benefit of uh, attaching multiple XTP program on same network interface with uh, uh, libxtp library. Thank you.